Hello and welcome to Computer Class. My name is Dave and today I'm talking about how to create a website project. So what I want you to do is navigate over to a website called twoplate.com and click on their free template, HTML templates um, link there. Now you can get your code from anywhere. I, I recommend not really since this is a beginner class on HTML, not doing the entire project from scratch because that would be a lot to ask of you. Um, but what you can do is you can use other people's code on the internet to build your website and get started quickly and you can see how they lay things out and that's just a little easier. So I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and I'm going to grab a specific template. I want to go to page 3. I've already picked one out that's entirely out of CSS and HTML. And this one called Modern Town, um, it's built entirely in HTML5 as you can see here. I'm going to click and close the ad. And uh, it, it's a modern responsive website, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to change all the pieces out here. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll scroll all the way down and click on the download button. And it's going to download a zip file. Now, if you haven't worked with zip files before, what you do is you want to grab it, slide it over to the corner here, drop it onto your desktop, then right-click and extract all. Press extract, it will then extract the code. We can chuck that in the recycle bin. And here is the actual code right there, the modern town code. I'm going to pull that out onto my desktop and throw this away here. All right, so now we have the code in and of itself. There's our CSS, our fonts, our images, our JavaScript, and there is our index.html file. And I'm going to right click and hit open with brackets. And this is going to pop open the code um, for the modern town. Now, again, I'm giving them attribution here. They're the ones who provided this code for this video. So you want to pop that open. You also want to pop open, go into the CSS, and we're going to look at the style.css file. Right click and open that with brackets. We'll need that a little bit later. Okay, so now you have the style sheet open and the index file so you can change some things up. Now I want to take a look at this web page before we get into it, and you can see the different sections here that we want to change out. Okay, so here's, here's the wording that's at the top, fully responsive HTML5 template. If I look at my code here uh, and scroll down just a little bit here, he's labeled home section, very easy to see. Fully responsive HTML5 templates. So again, you know which section you're editing as you scroll down. If I scroll down a little bit more, um, living in a modern town, going to the next level. You know, you can see all of these things in the code here. Uh, living in a modern town. I'm sorry, this is the that's the navigation section. Uh, living in a modern town. There it is and going to the next level. So the different pieces here, he's very clear about outlining which section does which. And so what we are going to do is you're going to change out all of the text um, because obviously this is the text for another person's uh, website. That's the first thing you want to do is, is take and, and flush all this text out of here. So maybe you're making a website on, where's my top section here? That's the title. Uh, this is the home section. I'll just put... Um, Modern Town, I'll change that out just so you can see an example here. Modern Town, I'll change this to Mountain. And I'm going to do all uppercase just like they did. Press Save and hit Refresh on my browser here. And there it is. I've changed the words to Mountain. If I want to change this image, which would be the next step, once you've changed out all the text, what I would do is I'm going to go to the Images folder. And again, you need to change out all the images. So change out all the text, change out all the images. So I'm going to go into the images. Here you see all the images of the website. Now notice they have this one called home-bg, home-background. And if I was to take this image and slide it on my desktop here, so it's out of the folder, and put another image in here and name it the exact same thing, it will automatically be linked in the code and work. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to unsplash.com right here and I'm going to type mountain this is a website I'll link this down in the description below and it helps when putting images into your website if you choose ones that are landscape now this is a landscape photo here's another landscape photo here's a really awesome looking landscape photo again landscape is side to side not up and down um, portrait would be up and down landscape is side to side 
All right, so I'm gonna grab this landscape photo here. Thank you to this person who provided this photo. And I'm gonna drop it into my folder here, just right into the images folder. And keeping with my logic here, I'm gonna right click on the image and rename it home-bg, press enter. Now notice that this is a .jpg file and so I chose a .jpg file. If you wanted to do a PNG file, you would actually have to update the code and find it and fix it, okay? Um, if you wanted that image to be uh, changed out and you probably have to do that in your styles section. But notice now that I put this in here and I am going to go back to my code, back to my page, refresh, notice there is a mountain in the background. And I would recommend going through every single one of these images, changing them out so that you have a complete website here. All right, so you need to go through, change all the text, change all the images, then change the links. Now you don't have to change the, um, the links at the top here because this is a one page website. In fact, it's very easy to deal with website. And as you click through the different tabs, it takes you down to those different sections. Okay, the only real links that need to be fixed in this website, um, obviously you could you could change the send a message one, you could update that one if you want to, but the main ones that are uh, that I want you to change out just for the sake of, of doing it is these um, social media links. And so if I go to Instagram, Instagram and it's going to pop up our computer class online Instagram here, Instagram slash computer class online. You could use that. You can use any social media page you want to. I'm just going to grab that and press control C. And then I am going to try to find the footer section of my code here. Okay. And you will notice that in the footer section and it's labeled footer section, there is a unordered list that contains an href of uh, Facebook here, one for Twitter, and I could do this one right here. I'm gonna switch that one and put the, uh, the link in there. Now I'm gonna change this to fa Instagram, press save. Oops, there we go. Update this. And notice the Instagram logo is now there. If I click that, it takes me to Computer Class Online. So you would just change out the links in your coding right here, okay? So change out your links, your social media links, change out your pictures, change out your text, and number four, change the colors. Now you'll notice the theme for this website when I hover over everything is it's like a yellowish orange. All right, so you wanna change that out for a different color theme. And the reason you would do this is so you learn how to interact with CSS um, and that is uh, really important. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my code here and notice before I opened my styles.css, if you don't know where it is, it's, it's in the uh, directory structure here under CSS, right click and open with brackets, okay? But since I've already opened mine as I did in the beginning, I'm just going to switch over to the styles.css. And here he has listed all the different styles. Now you could change the background of the body section, which I'm not interested in doing. You could change the typography here if you wanted different font sizes for things, for the H1, the H2, the different tags. And here we see um, that there is a color for the H2 tags. Okay, there's a specific color for the H3 tags. And notice it is... Um, a orangish color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a color. I'm going to go to Google and type hex color picker as we've learned in this course. I'm going to slide over to a really nice brilliant blue in the middle here. Maybe it's more of a turquoise. And oops, I'm going to go a little bit lighter. And I'm going to grab this hex code. Hash 51B6F5. All right. And then I'm going to go to my H2 tag, or H3 tag, I think it was. Yeah, H3 tag, and I'm gonna switch that out, okay? Press Control S to save, or press File, Save. 
and then let's reload our website up. And again, you're going between tabs. I know it's a lot, but you keep reloading the page. Now notice, fully responsive HTML5 template has now changed colors. So all the H5 tags, so this is apparently an H5, this is an H5, have changed color. Okay, apparently there's no other H5s in here. All right, but there's lots of places where you have this orange color. You have it in the links, you have it in the navigation, you have it in this um, in this area here that's displaying the different numbers. You also have it in the different social media links. And as you would scroll through, um, you, you can see the different uh, places where he has colors. And just play with it. Try to find all the different places. There's an orange right there. Might want to change that one to your theme color, whatever you picked. I would recommend a lighter color, uh, but make sure you change all those areas out I just mentioned. So again, change out all of the theme color, change out um, the images, change out the text, and change out your links. And then you should have a website that looks really a lot like your project rather than someone else's. Okay? So that's the complete project in HTML and CSS. Create something, have fun with it, and make something awesome. And hopefully you learned something today and you've liked the video and subscribed to the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next video.